Good morning, all of you. Myself, Dr. Pooja from School of Commerce and Management. Today, we will discuss a new topic that is employee discipline. First, I would like like to define the term. What is discipline? Discipline means an order-wise behavior. It means when an employee joins an organization, he has to follow some set of rules and regulation and procedure that are helpful for the smooth functioning of the organization. These rules, regulation, and code of conduct are termed as discipline. It can be defined with the help of defin definition that is given by Richard D. Callahan. He said that. Discipline may be considered as the force that promotes individual or groups to observe rule, regulation, procedures deemed necessary for the organization. It means when we talk about the discipline in an organization, we are talking about that employee has to follow certain code of conduct, some rules and regulation that are given by the organization that are set by the organization for the smooth functioning of its attainment of goals and each and every employee has to follow next come what is the feature of discipline first it is a mode of behavior it means discipline is a part of behavior behavior that is determined with reference to the organization rule and its regulation means the behavior that we have to follow in an organization according to the rules regulation and procedure that are made by the organization next the behavior may emerge from within an, an individual or it can be introduced by the use of external force. It means when we talk about the discipline, it may be self-discipline that comes within an individual or it can be implemented by use of some external force. Means we have to uh, make the individual disciplined by the use of certain external force such as use of fines, such as use of punishment, use of penalty so that they can behave as per the standardized rules and norms. Next, it is maintained for ensuring orderly behavior of the employee. Means when in organization each and every employee has to behave in an order so that it can help in the achievement of the organization goal. Next come what are the objective of discipline. Generally in an organization discipline is introduced to achieve the following objective first to gain willing expe expectance of the rules and regulation when we introduce discipline in any organization it means employee willingly like to follow these rules and regulation it create a feeling of willingness among them next it help to develop the feeling of cooperation among the employees they have to cooperate with each other they have to cooperate with their uh, supervisor they have to cooperate with their superiors they have to cooperate with their juniors as well as their seniors next come it have to maintain good industrial relation in the organization means we have when we talk about the standardized code of conduct and each and every employee is following this code of conduct it ensure the smooth functioning and good and sound relationship between the employer and the organization Next, it promote morale and increase efficiency among the workers. It helps to develop a sense of belongingness when an employee is following the rules and he is following a particular code of conduct, then it his behavior is appreciated by the management and it helps to increase the morale and automatically increase the overall effectiveness of an employee. Next, it develop a sense of tolerance and respect for human dignity. It uh, helps to develop a sense of belongingness, a self, sense of respect for the others. When an individual is self-disciplined, uh, he can be respected by others and he is taken as a role of model and followed by other person also. Next come, what are the various type of discipline? Generally, we can classify discipline in two types, positive discipline and negative discipline. As its name state, positive means it is a part of mode of behavior that is willingly introduced by an individual. It is a sense of duty willingly to observe the rules and regulation. It can be defined as self-discipline also, means when an individual employee willingly follow the rules and regulation, willingly follow the set of code of conduct that is made by the organization. For when an employee is following will 
willingly the set of rules and regulation low level of supervision is required general supervision is sufficient for that purpose and it always helpful in creating a positive environment and a environment with full of coordination and cooperation with each other next come negative discipline it means that uh, when the discipline is introduced by some external force when due to the pressure employee are following certain code of behavior and they are following certain set of rules and regulation it then it is termed as negative discipline it can be also defined as enforced or corrective discipline when we have to correct the behavior of individual when they are doing certain wrongs we have to put them certain checks by punishment by fines by penalties and we have to make their behavior right next come what are the difference between positive and negative discipline generally we have to classify the difference on the following basis first is on the basis of the concept positive discipline is based on the concept that the creation of discipline and climate that encourage employees to willingly follow the rules and regulation when we talk about the positive discipline it means employees are willing to follow the rules and regulation that are set by the organization but when we talk about the negative de discipline it means uh, we adhere or we enforce employees to follow the rules or rules and regulation by some external force this is the basic concept next come uh, role compatibility in positive discipline employee perceive that there is no conflict between their individual goal and organization goal both individual and organization go uh, go together for the smooth functioning of the organization but when when we talk about the negative discipline employee perceive that their individual goal are different from the organization goal and they work for the attainment of these goal next come exercise of general supervision it means when we talk about the positive discipline we require uh, normal supervision employees are self disciplined so low level of supervision is required for them but when we talk about the negative discipline we require extreme level of supervision here strict discipline uh, is required strict supervision is done by the supervisor so that employee can follow the code of behavior after that when comes kinds of various punishment when an employee is not following discipline he behave in indisciplined manner then certain kind of punishment are introduced to him these punishments can be minor punishments and the, there can be major punishment minor punishment means their impact is somehow low and major punishment means their impact is for lasting and somehow broad in manner minor punishment can be oral warning when some time warnings are given for the misbehavior it can be in the form of loss of privileges that uh, we have capture back or take back some special benefits that are given to the employees then it can be introduced in the form of imposed fine fine and penalty should be introduced it can be imposed on the basis of suspension for temporary suspension issue can be issued when we talk about the major punishment there can be holding increments when their annual increment is hold down by the management next come uh, stopping their promotion when they are not promoted to the higher level next to take their charge back that, that is termed as discharge and finally they are dismissed from the organization so these are the various kind of punishment that are given to an employee when he is following indisciplined behavior now next uh, comes what how can we can define that an employee is following an indiscipline what is it means indiscipline and misconduct can be defined as the violation of rules and regulation that are set by the organization it means when an employee is not following the rules and regulation when uh, he willingly violating the rules of rules and regulation and uh, it is an act of engagement in the behavior that are considered to be undesirable that are not considered good in the organization it can be in the form of absenteeism it can be in the form of failure to complete their targets it can be for uh, in the form of their carelessness all these are 
comes under the misconduct behavior when they are not performed as per the standard set by the organization. Next, what are the common example of misconduct behavior in an organization? There may be common indiscipline problem in an organization. First is attendance related problem. Attendance related problem in such problems there can be issue regarding with the absenteeism of an employee. There can be issue regarding their late coming of the employee. There can be issue their long lasting holidays. There can be issue of their taking holidays without higher permission or without the authorized person permission. So all this comes under the attendance related issues. Next come dishonesty related issue. When an employee is doing theft, he is destroying the organization personal property, he is destroying, he is telling lie and uh, he is not performing as per the standards. So all this comes uh, under the honest, dishonesty related issue. Next come performance related issue. Performance related issue when an employee is not able to perform as per the standard set, when he is not producing the right kind of product, when he is produce the sub quality product that are not appropriate as per the targets, uh, their performance falls uh, below the standard set by the organization. All this comes under the performance related target. Next come job behavior problems. When they are on their job, they behave certain things such as uh, they are uh, beating others, they are smoking, they are sleeping on the working hours, uh, they are doing incorporation with the among employees, they are fighting with the among employees, sometimes uh, physical assaultation is also comes in and uh, they are abusing others. So all these comes under the job related behavior. All these are the major indiscipline problems that are arise within an organization. After that the causes of indiscipline, why an employee is doing indiscipline, what are the major reason behind that kind of indiscipline. There are certain reasons, first is unfair management practices, sometimes the practices that are made by the organization are not fair, they are not equal for all. So these unbiased policies also result in the behavior of indiscipline. Next defective communication system, in an organization there should be two way communication. Uh, but when there is failure of the effect, ineffective communication system, when there is uh, lack between the two way communication, sender is sending some message in another way and receiver is receiving the message in other way, then it can create the problem of indiscipline. Next employee attitude and value, sometimes employee attitude also and their personal value also create the problem of indiscipline as there exist individual difference. The persons who are working in the organization come from various background, uh, they are from various uh, families, they are from various, uh, um, they are having various moral values, they are having different personality traits. So all these also can create the problem of indiscipline among the employees. Next come ineffective leadership. When they have not uh, following the proper leaders, they don't have any leaders that can lead them, that can guide them, that can uh, briefly define them the particular rules, the particular code of conduct they have to follow in the organization. So lack of effective leadership also creates indiscipline problem. Next faulty supervision. When there is no one who can supervise their mistake, when there is no one who can uh, check that they are doing right when there is no check on their performance. So all these all result in indiscipline problem. Next come divide and rule policy of the management. Sometime management is not taking too much interest on the organization and the individual performance. They are just working on based on the rules and divide for their personal on. So all these create indiscipline problem in the organization. Next come lack of well defined code of conduct and guidance, lack of guidance. It means when you know in organization there is no proper code of conduct and it is not well communicated to the employees. Employees don't know where they, what code of conduct they have to follow, when they have to come, when they have to go, what they have uh, to perform, when they have to take rest when they have to do their work, what are the their performance criteria, all these things are not properly communicated to them. So all this create indiscipline program among the employees. 
Next come the com principle of disciplinary action. It means when we are taking that we have to maintain discipline in the organization, we have to take certain, we have to follow certain principle. The principle we are implying for the proper code of conduct, for the proper discipline in the organization, it should be based on the principle of natural justice, means the principle should be fair and it should be free applied to all. It should be consistent for all. No one should be remitted from it and it should be based on the following other principles. First is opportunity to present witness. Whenever we find an employee in the form of misconduct and he is not following and creating indiscipline, it means employee has right and opportunity should be given that he can witness the person of his own choice and he can protect his side from his own side. Next, he should be given right to cross-examine the management evidence. Uh, when uh, an employee is found guilty and he is creating indiscipline, that he, and from the employee side, he should give an opportunity that he can cross-examine the management event, evidence. Next, fair treatment. Employee that is found in the position of creating indiscipline should be treated fairly. He should be treated fairly in the following manner, enquiry against the employee should be fair and impartial. It means the person who are conducting an inquiry regarding the individual employee, he should treat him fairly and he should not uh, follow any personal biasness while he is giving his judgment. Next punishment should be as per the proportion of the misconduct. Punishment should be not much more than the proportion of the misconduct. It means what kind of issue big or small punishment should be as per the issue if he is committed a big mistake then punishment should be big if he is committing a small mistake then punishment should be small next come norms regarding the disciplinary action when we talk about the disciplinary action that are followed to maintain an individual employee to be remain in discipline we have to follow certain norms the norm should be based on that discipline disciplinary action should be taken by the immediate boss only the person who was on the employee means his immediate supervisor should take the disciplinary action and after that that action the supervisor should behave that he is behaving in his previous time means uh, there should be no biasness in his nature after uh, someone makes some indiscipline problem and there arise the issue they should behave properly Next come there should be consistent for all. It means uh, the various machinery that is given to the employee, the various uh, uh, finance and penalty that are imposed on the employees, is, it is as per their issue. If it is a big issue, it should be punished uh, bigly and if it is a small issue, it should be punished small. And it is as per the personal. It means if the person is on the big level and if the person is on the small level, both should be treated same. The procedure that are imposed upon them should be consistent to all, equal to all. There should be no biasness among them. Next come the procedure for discipline reaction. Previously we talk about the principle, principle should be based on the principle of natural and equal justice. Now we talk about the procedure that we have to follow during the discipline reaction. Principle should be based, first we have to conduct preliminary investigation. It means first we have to take a preliminary investigation or inquiry about the fact. We have to collect fact and figures regarding the misconduct of an employee. We have to take an inquiry about that. After that, issue a charge sheet. If an employee is find that he is doing misconduct, he is doing and creating indiscipline, then his immediate supervisor can issue a charge sheet. It can be also termed as a showcase notice. Next come suspension pending inquiry. After issuing a charge sheet, a suspension letter can be issued if an employee is found to be guilty and he is creating a problem of a misconduct or indiscipline. Notice of inquiry. It means uh, if an employee admits that he is doing indiscipline, then the problem is sorted out. But if employee refuses that he is not doing any indiscipline, then there should be need of a inquiry. An inquiry officer is appointed for the same purpose. 
conduct of inquiry and he is given the permission to conduct an inquiry and uh, employee is informed about the time date and the person who are coming for that inquiry next come proceeding of the findings and recordings of the finding all the things are done with the help of inquiry officers all fact and figures are collected regarding the matter and all these are submitted to the management the inquiry official should never give his recommendation and never give imposed punishment and fine he should hand over all these thing to the management and management have to decide the punishment means awarding the punishment after the inquiry officer submitted all the necessary fact and figure to the immediate management team and management have to decide the punishment if an individual is fined that he is doing misconduct or he is doing indiscipline in the organization various kind of punishment are imposed on them there can be punishment of uh, minor and there can be punishment of major in minor punishment he can be given oral warnings he can be given written warnings sometimes uh, in major punishment he can be suspended from the organization and uh, he can be dismissed and his uh, all service are taken back to the organization next come communicating punishment the punishment is always decided by the management management has to decide whether it is a act of minor punishment or it is a act of major punishment whatever the punishment is decided it is communicated to the employee well and after that follow up programs are issued follow up means to to check out what is impact of that punishment that is put on the employee whether it is have any positive impact means desirable effect are achieved or not it can be done with the help of follow up programs next come essential of a good disciplinary system when we have to introduce a disciplinary system that uh, are imposed on employees so that they can behave in a particular way that is as per the rules and regulation of the employee it should be based on the following principle it should be based on the certain guiding factors that are essent clarity about the act of indiscipline it means both employee and organization member have a clear information about the rules regulation and code of conduct about the discipline problem and the problem that are comes under the indiscipline what are these area that are comes under the indiscipline if they come late if they are absent without information if they are not doing their performance as per the standard so what are the different criteria for the in discipline problem it should be very well communicated to them rules and regulation regarding the code of conduct should be very well known to the each and every employee of the organization next come prompt prompt action it means when we found the problem of in discipline in any year action should be quickly take whenever mistake is made there should be quick action on that mistake no matter it is a big mistake or small mistake fair action it means uh, the action should be fair the treatment of that uh, indiscipline should be fair to all whether it is committed by a lower level worker or it is uh, committed by a higher level authority the punishment that is given should be equal to all well defined procedure what procedure should be followed if someone is not following the rules what will be the policy what will be the procedure it should be very well communicated to the each and every employee and it should be as per the norms of the organization constructive approach constructive approach means when we are taking the corrective measures it should be based on the corrective approach it should be not based on the punishment approach means employees are motivated that they have no, to they have to follow the disciplinary action they don't go for the misconduct rather than we have to make emphasize on the punishment approach we should go on the corrective approach that can correct the behavior of in discipline next come review and revision from time to time in the code of conduct that are determined by the organization they should be review and if there is a need of uh, revision there is a need of amendments it should be amended from time to time as per the requirement next hot stove rule of discipline it means discipline is always worked on the hot stove rule hot stove rule says that burns immediately just as a burning stove if we touch a burning stove we can burns immediately it means disciplinary action should be such that if someone make a mistake it should be identified quickly 
provide warning just as a hot burning stove give us warning we should not touch it we should uh, stay away from its flame as as it is harmful to us such as disciplinary system should be give warning it should be give precautions how we can um, save from the misconduct how we have to behave as per the norms so it should work on that principle also next applies consistent to all it means uh, if we touch a burning stop it can the fire and the harm that can be done by the flame is uh, equal to all no matter whether it is touch whether it is touched by a small kid whether it is touched by a adult person so all with the disciplinary action system if there is any mistake that is made by any employee no matter it is from the low level no matter it is from the higher level authority it should be applicable and equal to all all these are the various machinery that come under the disciplinary action that are taken by an organization in order to make its employees uh, so that they can follow the code of conduct that are set by the organization if a, in an organization the employee follow that code of conduct if they follow the orderly behavior and it all result in the helpful of the successful achievement of the individual goal as well as the organization goal thank you